I want to talk to you about the most important principle in learning photography and filmmaking, and that's the relationship between your ISO, your shutter, and your aperture. All three will either brighten or darken your image, but all three also have a secondary effect. Let's start with ISO. If you increase your ISO, your image becomes brighter. However, the secondary effect is the higher you raise your ISO, the more noise or grain that is on your image, which is not typically pleasing, so you want to keep it as low as possible. And the general range that you'll find for ISOs is 100 to 25,000 600. If you're shooting outside on a sunny day, you want to keep your ISO at around 100. But if it's a cloudy day, you probably want to keep it around 400. Let's say you're inside, you're probably looking between 800 and 1600 ISO. Let's say it's nighttime or you're in a low light situation, you're probably looking at a minimum of 3200 ISO. Now we could change the ISO by just hitting a button on our camera, but back in the film days, your ISO was actually your film stock. So if you want to change your ISO, you literally have to take your film stock out and put a new film stock in. Well, stay tuned for part two where I talk about shutter.